Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let's have a look at this question. The question here says, in each case, we need to find the inverse of the element under the given operation. So we are given different options and here uh, for each part here, we need to find the inverse of the given element. So let's start with the solution. For the solution, for the first part, they are saying we wanted to find the inverse of the element 13 and the operation here is given to be addition modulo 20 right so here you know uh, we have uh, this operation which is addition modulo 20 correct so under this operation here we have 0 as the identity that also you know right so in order to calculate the inverse and what is this set we have z20 consisting of all the elements starting from 0 up to 19 right so this is the set now if you wanted to calculate what is the inverse of 13 so you basically you are looking for this element such that this is equal to the identity under mod 20 correct so what is that element so you can clearly see if you take 7 here so it would give you 20 and it would be equivalent to 0 mod 20 when you calculate it hence i would say 7 is the inverse of 13 under the operation uh, of addition modulo 20 in the group z20 correct let's talk about the second case in the second case we wanted to calculate say, again the inverse of 13 but now under the group of u14 now what is the group u14 if you remember u14 it is the group or the set which consists of all the numbers which are rel uh, smaller than 14 and are relatively prime to 14 so what all numbers do we have we have 1 2 is not there 3 4 is not there, 5, 7 is not there because 7 and 14 have 7 common. Then 8 is also not there because 2 is common. Then we have 9, 10 is not there, 11 is there, 12 is not there, 13 is there. So in total we have these 6 elements present. So and here what is the operation? The operation here is multiplication modulo 14, right? Multiplication modulo 14. 14 so here you know what is the identity of this group the identity of this group is the number one so uh, how can we find the inverse so in order to find the inverse of 13 what do we do we uh, multiply it by what number right here so that we obtain uh, 1 under mod 14 so this is the uh, thing that we wanted to calculate here so here you can see now what in order to find this we have the available choices as 1 3 5 9 11 and 13 so what we can do here is so let's see if you multiply uh, 13 with 1 so that would give you 13 and 13 mod 14 is not equal to 1 so this case is rejected let's check for another case 13 into the next element is what it is 3 right what occurs when we multiply this by 3 so it would give you 39 and when you calculate 39 mod uh, how much 14 it would be equal to uh, you can divide it by uh, 14 and it would be 28 right uh, so 39 uh, when you divide it by 14 it would be 28 and uh, here when you subtract them you would have 11 right which is not equal to 1 so this is also rejected similarly we can calculate it for each case if you multiply 13 with uh, the next element 5 you would have the answer as 65 and when you divide this 65 by 14 you would have here 56 right so obviously it is also not equal to 1 what about the next one so we also reject this case so what about 13 into 9 so let's check it 13 into 9 is how much it is 117 and when you take 117 mod 14 right 
it would be not it would not be equal to 1 so you can also reject this case what about the next one let's check it so when you multiply 39 with 11 what would you get you would have 143 here and you see 143 mod 14 it would be equal to 3 and not equal to 1 right so we also reject this case so the only choice available is 13 anyway let's check it for 13 as well when you check it for 13 it is 169 and 169 mod 14 that is equal to 1 right so you from this part you can clearly see that we can accept this one so we clearly see when you multiply uh, 13 with 13 under the operation of multiplication mod 14 it comes out to be 1 hence we can conclude that 13 is the inverse of 13 right in u14 so this is b part what about the third part we ha again have to check it in un where the number now is given to be n minus 1 and n is greater than 2 actually you see this c part is nothing but the generalization of this b part right where n was given to be 14 so n minus 1 was 13 so instead of calculating all of these uh, multiplications so uh, what we can do we can directly use this formula if you know it uh, straight away so let's see what is that formula so when we solve this uh, th uh, c part what do you have you have n minus 1 present in u n where n is greater than 2 so basically we are looking for uh, some number here right such that when you multiply it by multiplication modulo n right what is this number so that you would have the identity 1 under mod n so this is what we are looking for i say i claim that n minus 1 has n minus 1 as its inverse in un why i am saying so because from looking at the previous case i noticed that 13 is the inverse of 13 correct so let's uh, make it uh, down here and check whether th is this correct or not so we are checking it for n minus 1 so i am we have to check whether this is equal to 1 so let's take the left hand side here so it would be n minus 1 multiplication mod n with n minus 1 so it is basically uh, you can multiply the term so it would be n square minus 2n plus 1 right and we need to check it for under mod n so you can write this as n n minus 2 plus 1 right and when you check it under mod n right because this is a multiple of n it would give you the result as 0 right so we would be left with 1 under mod n so you see this is the identity of this group u n so that means so which is equal to the right hand side so clearly from here you can see that n minus 1 is the inverse of n minus 1 in u n and this is what we wanted to check here right for the fourth part here what does it say it say uh, we have to find the inverse of 3 minus 2 iota in this group of non-zero complex numbers and the operation here is given to be multiplication so that's very simple right for the d part what we are to see we wanted to calculate what is the inverse of this in c star so in c star you know all the elements are of this complex number form so we have to multiply it say this is the inverse and you know what is the identity here is it is 1 plus 0 iota so what we can do we can solve for it and find so we need to find a and b from this so you can multiply the terms together is it would be 3a plus iota times 3b minus iota times 2a plus 2b that is equal to 1 plus 0 iota so you can simplify the terms it would be 3a plus 2b plus iota times 3b minus 2a right this is equal to 1 plus 0 iota so 
you can equate the terms uh, real uh, you can equate the real terms together and you can equate the imaginary terms together right and then simplify the terms you can uh, use any method for uh, calculating the value of a and b so when you solve the uh, above equations you will have a as equal to 3 upon 13 and b as equal to 2 upon 13 right so therefore you would say the inverse of the member 3 minus 2 iota in c star it comes out to be a which is 3 upon 13 plus iota times b which is 2 upon 13 so this is the inverse here so i hope you understood this question well well that is it for this video thank you for watching